after whipping up on the Ohio Bobcats, the Buckeyes have another predictable opponent, the Eastern Michigan Eagles. So far, this MAC team is 0-15 through 2008, and this season they have given up 1,242 yards and 111 points. Ohio State head coach Jim Tressel continues to focus on no further injuries and, of course, the special teams, which continues to be a problem for the Buckeyes. We have to make sure that our focus is on becoming a better football team, each guy becoming a better player. And, uh, you know, some say it's difficult from a standpoint of Eastern Michigan has not had great success. Um, the thing that I think will be very good for us is uh, Eastern Michigan, as they're slowly trying to upgrade their personnel, uh, only has one speed, and it's fast and it's straight ahead. They are going to blitz you like crazy when you have the ball. If you're punting, they're going to send 10 or 12 guys, it looks like. Um, they're going to do everything 100, 100 miles an hour. Four Buckeyes suffered injuries last week. Cornerbacks Travis Howard, Donnie Evans, and linebacker Dorian Bell, while cornerback Devon Torrance left the field briefly with a hip injury, which forced him to be sidelined. We probably uh, will lose Donnie Evans for a significant number of weeks. Travis Howard maybe for a week or so. Uh, Dorian Bell maybe a week. He probably would be the, he and Travis would be the quickest back. Uh, we'll have Andrew Sweat back. In terms of special teams, Coach Tressel was disappointed. You know, we had the blow on the punt protection. Uh, you know, when you let a guy run free, uh, we had a little bit of confusion. And uh, they did a good job. They had a little bit of a delayed rush. The Ohio State offense continues to develop its expanded playbook. And tight end Jake Stoneburner, who caught five passes on Saturday, hopes the trend continues. Well, yeah, I mean, we want to go in there and say, you know, we dropped 70 points. I mean, that would be pretty cool. But... You know, if, as long as we feel like we played a good game, um, played our hardest, executed, we're fine. I mean, as long as we win, we're fine with really what happened. Offensively, uh, we did a little bit better job of scoring in the red zone. Uh, still had to kick two field goals, I think. On the defensive side of the ball, the Buckeyes lead the nation in turnovers with great play from Cam Hayward, Tyler Moeller, and company. Muller, who is second on the team with 16 tackles, talked about what the Buckeyes need to do to focus for this week's game. You know, I, they have the Mid American Conference has great talent. Um, I know some of the players at uh, Corning High School, uh, Brian Lanehart and Cabrani Mixon, who went to Michigan, transferred to uh, Kent State. You know, they have they have great talent in the MAC, and um, you know, it's a good conference. We, you know, we all know we have to get out, go out there, and get better. We have to improve on special teams. We have to improve on defense, and we have to improve on offense. Um, you know, or, or this team come out and, and, you know, they could beat us if we don't come out there and, and play like we should play. I thought our defense, again, uh, set the tone, not simply for the fact, I think they had eight three and outs, which our goal for a game is five. If we can get a team, if we can get five three and outs with our defense, that's almost like a turnover. And um, we had eight. And we had five turnovers. Game time is set for 3.30 on Saturday, and be sure to check back with Columbus Wire TV for your exclusive coverage. Until next time, I'm Ashley Agnelzi.